Matit Yahu, Matthew, chapter 12. At that time Yeshua went through the grain fields on the Sabbath, and his taught ones were hungry, and began to pluck heads of grain to eat. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, your taught ones are doing what is not right to do on the Sabbath. But he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him? How he went into the house of Elohim and ate the showbread, which was not right for him to eat, nor for those who were with him, but only for the priests. Or did you not read in the Torah that on the Sabbath the priests in the set-apart place profane the Sabbath and are blameless? But I say to you that in this place there is one greater than the set-apart place. And if you had known what this means, I desire compassion and not offering, you would not have condemned the blameless. For the Son of Man is master of the Sabbath. And having left there, he went into their congregation. And see, there was a man having a withered hand, and they asked him, saying, Is it right to heal on the Sabbath, so as to accuse him? And he said to them, What man is there among you who has one sheep, and if it falls into a pit on the Sabbath, shall not take hold of it and lift it out? How much more worth is a man than a sheep? So it is right to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out, and it was restored, as healthy as the other. But the Pharisees went out and took counsel against him so as to destroy him. But Yeshua, knowing it, withdrew from there, and large crowd, crowds followed him, and he healed them all, and warned them not to make him known, in order that what was spoken by Yeshayahu the prophet might be filled, saying, See, my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, in whom my being did delight, I shall put my spirit upon him, and he shall declare right ruling to the nations. He shall not strive, nor cry out, nor shall anyone hear his voice in the streets. A crushed reed he shall not break, and smoking flax he shall not quench, till he brings forth right ruling to overcome. And the nations shall trust in his name, then they brought to him one who was demon-possessed, blind and dumb, and he healed him, so that the blind and dumb man both spoke and saw. And all the crowds were amazed and said, Is this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This one does not cast out demons except by Beelzebul, the ruler of the demons. And Yeshua knew their thoughts and said to them, Every rain divided against itself is laid waste, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then does his reign stand? And if I, by Beelzebul, do cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Because of this they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of Elohim, then the reign of Elohim has come upon you. Or how is one able to enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds the strong man, and then he shall plunder his house? He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Because of this I say to you, all sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven men. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the set-apart spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree rotten and its fruit rotten, for a tree is known by its fruit. Brood of adders, how are you able to speak what is good, being wicked? For the mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. The good man brings fruit, brings forth what is good from the good treasures of his heart, and the wicked man brings forth what is wicked from the wicked treasure. And I say to you that for every idle word men speak, they shall give an account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words you shall be declared righteous, and by your words you shall be declared unrighteous. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he answering said to them, a wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, 
and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Yonah. For as Yonah was three days and three nights in the stomach of the great fish, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Men of Nineveh shall stand up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it, because they repented at the preaching of Yonah, and look, a greater than Yonah is here. The sovereigns of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Shalomo, and look, a greater than Shalomo is here. Now when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Then it says, I shall return to my house from which I came, and when it comes it finds it empty, swept, and decorated. Then it goes and takes with it seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last of that man is worse than the first. So shall it also be with this wicked generation. And while he was still talking to the crowds, see, his mother and brothers stood outside, seeking to speak with him. And one said to him, See, your mother and your brothers are standing outside, seeking to speak with you. But he answering said to the one who spoke to him, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? And having stretched out his hand toward his taught ones, he said, See my mothers and my see my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the desire of my father who is in the heavens is my brother and sister and mother. End of Matit Yahu, chapter 12.